Father, I can barely lift my eyes to you. It's all I can do to cry out for help. Please extend your grace to me this day. Help me to see that you are in this and that you are with me. Help me to remember that you are not surprised or taken off guard by the events of this day. Forgive me for my fears about this day. Forgive me for how I have complained and muttered about how hard this day has been. Forgive me for forgetting that you are with me. Forgive me for forgetting who I am because of what your Son, Jesus Christ, has done. Forgive me for failing to remember the glorious truths and riches I have because of the Gospel. Father, hear my prayer. Grant me gospel hope in the midst of this hard day. Help me to cling to your grace, your wisdom and your strength. Amen. Psalm 116 I love the Lord, for he heard my voice. He heard my cry for mercy. Because he turned his ear to me, I will call on him as long as I live. The cords of death entangled me. The anguish of the grave came over me. I was overcome by distress and sorrow. Then I called on the name of the Lord. Lord, save me. The Lord is gracious and righteous. Our God is full of compassion. The Lord protects the unwary. When I was brought low, he saved me. Return to your rest, my soul, for the Lord has been good to you. For you, Lord, have delivered me from death, my eyes from tears, my feet from stumbling, that I may walk before the Lord in the land of the living. I trusted in the Lord when I said, I am greatly afflicted. In my alarm I said, Everyone is a liar. 
what shall I return to the Lord for all his goodness to me? I will lift up the cup of salvation and call on the name of the Lord. I will fulfill my vows to the Lord in the presence of all his people. Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his faithful servants. Truly I am your servant, Lord. I serve you just as my mother did. You have freed me from my chains. I will sacrifice a thank offering to you and call on the name of the Lord. I will fulfill my vows to the Lord in the presence of all his people, in the courts of the house of the Lord, in your midst, Jerusalem. God, as I go to work today, Let me work by your words, O oh Lord. I want you to be my rock and my fortress and protect from all challenges that I might face today. From going to my workplace, to the work itself, and even leaving it, Lord, guide my actions and allow me great success. Walk with my decisions, Father so that I may reap the fruits of my labor. I exalt your name for the performed miracles and in Jesus name I pray. Amen. Lord, I am very and don't know when this race will end my life. I feel like I've been running forever, trying to outrun this trial. Help me to stop trying to outrun my pain but rather run with endurance the race you have set before me. I know that nothing in this world can separate me from your steadfast love. Please give me a measure of your love today. Give me the strength to endure this trial. Thank you for your love for me that never ends. And thank you for the crown of joy that awaits me forever 
in your kingdom. Amen. Psalm 51 Have mercy on me, O God. According to your unfailing love, according to your great compassion, blot out my transgressions. Wash away all my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my transgressions and my sin is always before me. Against you, you only, have I sinned and done what is evil in your sight. So you are right in your verdict and justified when you judge. Surely I was sinful at birth, sinful from the time my mother conceived me. Yet you desired faithfulness, even in the womb. You taught me wisdom in that secret place. Cleanse me with hyssop and I will be clean. Wash me and I will be whiter than snow. Let me hear joy and gladness. Let the bones you have crushed rejoice. Hide your face from my sins and blot out all my iniquity. Create in me a pure heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me from your presence or take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore me the joy of your salvation and grant me a willing spirit to sustain me. Then I will teach transgressors your ways, so that the sinners will turn back to you. Deliver me from the guilt of bloodshed, O God, you who are God, my Savior. And my tongue will sing of your righteousness. Open my lips, Lord, and my mouth will declare your praise. You do not delight in sacrifice, or I would bring it. You do not take pleasure in burnt offerings. My sacrifice, O oh God, is a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart. You, God, will not despise. May it please you to prosper Zion, to build up the walls of Jerusalem. Then 
you will delight in the sacrifices of the righteous, in burnt offerings offered whole. Then balls will be offered on your altar. Dear God, thank you for your amazing power and work in our lives. Thank you for your goodness and for your blessings over us. Thank you for your great love and care. Thank you for your sacrifice so that we might have freedom and life. Forgive us for when we don't thank you enough for who you are, for all that you do, for all that you've given. Help us to set our eyes and our hearts on you afresh. Renew our spirits, fill us with your peace and joy. We love you and we need you. This day and every day. We give you praise and thanks. For you alone are worthy. In Jesus' name, Amen. Father God, I thank you for directing my steps today. I thank you for covering me with your almighty shadow. I declare and believe that no evil shall come near my dwelling, my family, my work, my body and my thoughts. I rebuke the devil from hindering my life and purpose. No storm, no demonic strategy, no offense, no pestilence and no evil report will interrupt the blessings of God in my life. I release the love and wisdom of God into my heart and mind. Satan, take your hands of God's property. Thank you, Father God, for joy and peace that passes all understanding. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Psalm 121 I lift up my eyes to the mountains. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. 
he will not let your foot slip. He who watches over you will not slumber. Indeed, he who watches over Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun will not harm you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all harm. He will watch over your life. The Lord will watch over your coming and going, both now and forevermore. Great is your faithfulness and your steadfast love. Your mercies are made new every morning. I don't know what is going to happen today, but you do. So I give this day to you. Fill me with your Holy Spirit and energize me for your work. Awaken me to the wonder of your salvation and quicken my spirit to your presence in my life. This day is yours. My body is yours. My mind is yours. Everything I am is yours. You will be faithful to complete the good work you've started. And as I step out into my day, I declare sovereignty over every area of my life. I entrust myself to you and ask that you use me however you see me fit. May you be pleased with me today. Amen. Dear God, at the start of each day, help us to recognize you above all else. Enlighten the eyes of our heart that we might see you and notice how you're at work through our lives. Give us wisdom to make the best choices. Fill us with a desire to seek after you more than anything else in this world. Let your spirit and power breathe in us, through us, again, fresh and new. 
thank you that you are greater than anything we may face in our day. Thank you that your presence goes with us and that your joy is never dependent on our circumstances, but it is our true and lasting strength, no matter what we are up against. We ask that your peace lead us, that it would guard our hearts and minds in you. We ask for your grace to cover our lives this day. We love you, Lord. We need you. In Jesus' name, Amen. Lord, I am weary and don't know when this race will end in my life. I feel like I've been running forever, trying to outrun this trial. Help me to stop trying to outrun my pain, but rather run with endurance the race you have set before me. I know that because of you. I am ultimately a victor over the trials in my life. I know that nothing in this world can separate me from your steadfast love. Please give me a measure of your love today. Give me the strength to endure this trial. Thank you for your love for me that never ends. And thank you for the crown of joy that awaits me forever in your kingdom. Amen. Psalm 90 Lord, you have been our dwelling place throughout all generations. Before the mountains were born or you brought forth the whole world from everlasting to everlasting you are God. You turn people back to dust, saying, Return to dust, you mortals. A thousand years in your sight are like a day that has just gone by or like a watch in the night. Yet you sweep people away in the sleep of death. They are like the new grass of the morning. In the morning it springs up new, but by evening 
it is dry and withered. We are consumed by your anger and terrified by your indignation. You have set our iniquities before you. Our secret sins in the light of your presence. All our days pass away under your wrath. We finish our years with a moan. Our days may come to seventy years or eighty, if our strength endures, yet the best of them are but trouble and sorrow, for they quickly pass and we fly away. If only we knew the power of your anger. Your wrath is great as the fear that is your due. Teach us to number our days, that we may gain a heart of wisdom. Relent, Lord, how long will it be? Have compassion on your servants. Satisfy us in the morning with your unfailing love, that we may sing for joy and be glad all our days. Make us glad for as many days as you have afflicted us, for as many years as we have seen trouble. May your deeds be shown to your servants, your splendor to their children. May the favor of the Lord our God rest on us. Establish the work of our hands for us. Yes, establish the work of our hands. Dear Lord, I don't know who or what will cross my path today, but I do know that you are my rock and my fortress. You are my shield and my strong tower. Help me to anchor myself to you today. Teach me how to stand strong in you and choose only your way today. Help me walk by your truth and not my feelings. Help me to embrace anything that comes my way as an opportunity to see you at work and as an opportunity to point others to you. Thank you that you love me and nothing can ever take that away from me. 
even if I fail today and fall short, you whisper your unconditional love deep into my soul and remind me that your mercies are new every morning. That truly amazes me, Lord. Thank you for meeting with me today. Would you wake me again tomorrow with the same sweet whisper of your love? I can't wait to meet with you again. In Jesus' name, Amen.